Well, how about 100 yards in his first career game and then the game-winning touchdown in his third? Jordan, take me through this beginning of your college career and what this has been like for you. Uh, you know, it's a great experience uh, playing as a freshman. And, uh, you know, it's unbelievable. It's only a, a dream to every single player that comes through uh, the collegiate program. And, you know, it's been great. I've been cherishing it every single moment of it. And uh, I just hope for the best for the rest of the season. Run me through the game-winning play. How did it come about? And when you're reaching through that pylon, what do you think? Uh, you know, coach called an option play, and Mahoney brought it back to the huddle and, and told us it, and I just couldn't believe it at the time. I'm like, oh my gosh, an option, you know? I'm like, hopefully no one crashes down, Mahoney has to run in, we fumble it. That's what's going through my, uh, my mind in like five seconds. But he gets the pitch off, he takes a blow for us, and, you know, Sean Avant laid a nice block, and I just ran up his back and sucked the pull off of the pylon and wished for the best. When did you realize the game was actually over? Because there was a review process and you guys were sort of looking around. Uh, I thought it was over once I made it to the bench and sat down until I looked up at the big screen and saw that the play was being reviewed. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, we have to do this all over again. But, uh, you know, it, uh, it uh, the, play was the play had to stand and, um, you know, it was over and I was just happy. Take me into the quarterback situation. It had to be a bit of a shock when, when Eric goes down in the second quarter, but how were you guys able to rally and then get going with uh, Zach and Austin as the game went along? Uh, you know, it was it was devastating because of um, what had happened. And, you know, we, we fell flat for, for a while, a couple of quarters, uh, maybe a quarter and a half maybe, and we came together, you know, we got chemistry back, and, you know, we just started playing football again. How confident do you feel in uh, that pair? going into battle against LSU this week? I feel very confident in them, you know. The whole team does. We give them all our respect, you know. It's um, it's a big deal playing against LSU. Uh, they're a uh, very well program, and, you know, it's it's, 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 it's huge cleats to fill, you know, with uh, uh, Eric and uh, Terrell down. So uh, I feel comfortable with them being there. Speaking of huge cleats, uh, your counterpart in LSU wears them, and Leonard Fournette. He's a big dude <laughs> at running back. Have you snuck a peek at any of his tape as you get ready for this game? Uh, you know, he's he's everywhere on the internet. You know, vines. You can be on Instagram, Snapchat, even. And, you know, it's, it's hard to believe that. I I heard he's a sophomore only, so he's doing uh, major things, and you know, I, I I wish the best for him as well. But uh. He's a, he's a re really good running back. Like I said again, I, I believe he's a Heisman candidate. And, uh, you know, I wish him best of luck for the rest of the season. You won't have to try to stop him this week, but you have to go against a, a very good defense. Uh, in the film that you've seen so far, uh, what, what does it look like uh, when you're going against this LSU team? You know, they're a big, they're a big, uh, big D line. You know, the uh, linebackers are well put. They fill the, the gaps like they're supposed to. You know, they're, I would call them from high school ball hawks. You know, they... They just want to tackle, they want to punish, they want to do whatever they need to do to win. And, you know, that's, that's a type of team I like playing. And, uh, you know, I just wish the best for luck for them and for us. And lastly, this is certainly going to be the biggest crowd you've played in front of in college coming up this weekend. What, what are you hoping to see in the atmosphere for this game? Uh, you know, only thing, I don't really try to focus on the atmosphere. Coach Smith won't let me, but uh, I just try to uh, – realize where my parents are sitting before the game even starts. So once I see where they're sitting, I feel fine. If I make a mistake, I look at them. I'm not supposed to, but, uh, you know, that, that's it. All right, then hopefully you won't have to look at them too much this week and uh, <laughs> keep it going after a great start to your college career. Thank you, yeah. That's Jordan Fredericks.